If you've ever had trouble sewing on lycra or spandex, I have 10 successful tips for you that you'll wanna stick around for. So first off, I had the opportunity to special order some fabric. I took the Sewing Mastery logo and had it printed at spoonflower.com and sport lycra was what I picked. And I wanna tell you why. Hi, I'm Sarah from sewingmastery.com where we do videos on sewing machines, sergers, and embroidery machines. But this is a common fabric that people struggle with. So I wanna go through 10 things that will help you be a successful sewist when working with this unique fabric. So everything I'm gonna talk about, there's gonna be links below this YouTube video. So if you're looking for the needles I'm talking about or some of the products that will help you, make sure you click below. Also, if any one of these tips is helpful for you that you did not know about, make sure you give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So I am here with my daughter's mama bear and she is sporting a mask that I made out of sport lycra. Now before I get started, what's the difference between lycra and spandex? So lycra is actually the name brand by DuPont Company for that stretchy fabric. But spandex is the generic term. So we always run into that, such as like Velcro versus hook and loop tape or Kleenex versus facial tissue. So you know what I'm talking about. So if I use spandex or lycra, I'm talking about the same thing. And I think you probably too interchange those words yourself. But what are some of the problems that you run into when you sew with a stretchy, very slippery fabric? Sometimes you get skip stitches. Sometimes it comes out wavy. All those things I'm going to help you solve. So first up, needles. Probably before you even stitch your first stitch, you've got to switch to a stretch needle. So a stretch needle actually has a coating on it. So it's going to make sure that there's not friction on that needle, which might lead to skipped stitches. So if you're sewing along and it looks like you have a really long stitch, that's the needle thread bobbin not connecting at the right place. And with a stretch needle, problem solved. Next up, what thread should you use when sewing on lycra fabric? I tend to lean to a polyester. Now I do a lot of embroidery, so a lot of my embroidery threads are polyester, so it's very easy for me to have the right color because I got tons of embroidery thread. But a polyester thread is going to be strong when you go to stitch. You're also going to want to stretch stitch. So make sure that what you're sewing is actually a stitch that might have a little zig to it. A little overlock stitch would have some stretch to it. You, if you're going to have something that you're sewing that is going to be pulled, like when I put this on over my head, all those seams had to stretch. And with a straight stitch, I would have broken those seams. So that is something to always make sure you're picking the right stitch. Next, how are you going to pin or hold these slippery layers together? So sometimes instead of using pins, because I feel like they poke and break the fibers, something like the Wonder Clips can help hold those layers together, easily removed, but not damaging the fibers. So this is actually one of my favorite masks. Uh, it has a little bit more of like a cupped feel. Uh, my daughter loves it. She doesn't even know she's wearing the mask because she comes out of school and still has it on. Um, so I will put the link below this YouTube video on which video I used for this particular pattern. But there is some sewing that is occurring here. So when I sewed the seam first, I realized that my foot pressure was really heavy. And anytime you sew on stretchy fabric, that heavier foot pressure is going to stretch the fabric while it's being sewn. And that gives you that wavy look. Obviously, we don't want that when we're sewing with this type of fabric. So taking your sewing machine foot pressure, sometimes it's a knob at the top. If you've got a computerized machine, sometimes it's actually a function button you're touching. And what it does, you wanna to go to a lower number. Make that come down. You could bring it down. If 50 is like your normal pressure number, you can come all the way down to 20 or even 10. What that's, what that's gonna do is make that foot just kinda of sit 
on the fabric and glide across it. So instead of all that pressure stretching it, it's really just gonna be hovering. I always feel like my foot's like a hovercraft when I have such a light pressure. And then it's just gonna glide across the fabric and that will eliminate the stretch. Now, another thing that you could actually do is use a walking foot. So whether you actually attach a physical walking foot to your machine. So if you've ever worked on batting and quilts, you probably already have a walking foot. If you've worked on minky or fabrics like flannel that just, again, come out a little wavy, a walking foot is a great answer. So put your walking foot on. Some machines, instead of a walking foot, you have a built-in dual feed, something that comes down and can help pull those layers together. So again, picks, if you have these items at your fingertips, every one of these might be used to successfully sew on Lycra or spandex. Couple more options. Number one, if you have a serger, a serger is a great stitch to use when sewing together anything that is stretchy. There's something called differential feed on most sergers, and that's a way to adjust how that fabric's being pulled in. So again, it doesn't come out looking like you made it. It will come out flat looking like you bought it. That's always my way of knowing whether something looks professional. It's when somebody says, where did you buy that? Not, oh, did you make that? So that's a key when using a serger. Serger puts a very professional seam on anything that is stretchy or woven. So if you haven't looked at a serger lately, but it's been something you've always wondered if it's right for you, and you start sewing more of these unique fabrics, it is time to invest in a serger. Now there's one other machine that can be helpful and you can buy it in all together with a serger and that's a cover stitch machine. So some sergers have serger and cover stitch options all in one. So that's two machines in one. That means you switch from serger to cover stitch and cover stitch back. Cover stitch are those two rows of stitches that you often see on hems or items that you purchase that we love to wear. So just like this, this is something that is very comfortable. Um, it's very warm. So if you're looking to sew more of those types of items, the fabrics are out there to find and create wonderful items. So again, we're gonna put cover stitch machine options in below, so make sure you check out all the links that we've provided for you. You can also buy cover stitch only machines. Now for those of you who sew a lot, changing from serger to cover stitch might not be your efficient use of your time. So what you do is you buy a serger and you buy a separate cover stitch machine. And that is an option these days. So then it's all set up, ready to go. You finish serging all your pieces. You go to do all the top stitching, the hemming on the cover stitch machine. Great way to have that professional look when it's done. Now let's say this is not something that you have really done a lot of thinking about. Cover stitch, oh, a second machine, a third machine. You can always go back to a twin needle. So every sewing machine that has a zigzag option can have a twin needle added to the machine. So we have lots of videos that will help you for how to thread for a twin needle, but not just any twin needle, you can actually buy a stretch twin needle. So back to where those needles have the coating to help you get through the Lycra, that is going to be important. You can buy them also in different widths. So some are really close together, like a two millimeter wide, and even four millimeter or bigger if your machine can handle the wider needles. Great way to finish it. The zigzag on the back, what, which is what your bobbin does, nobody's gonna see that. So it's one way to kind of cheat and have it look professional, but without actually owning a cover stitch machine. If you start doing that a lot, again, you'll probably come back and look for some of those options. Two more things that are going to help you. Number one, stitch length. Having the right stitch length when you're sewing on Lycra can also help you not have feel like you have to push it through. If you're getting little tiny stitches, well, all you have to do is make your stitch length longer. Might be longer than you normally have, but I like to make sure that I can take the stitches out if I have to start over. And those little tiny stitches, trying to take them out of the, like a Lycra, oh my gosh, that is not fun. Make those stitches a little longer, they're gonna look good, and they're not gonna like sink into the fabric because there's so many in such a small distance. So lengthen the stitch length, I think you'll find you'll get better results as you're going. 
And the last thing, if you're sewing with a single needle, so you can't do this with the twin needle function, but one thing you can do is most of the machines, current machines out there can have a, a single hole throat plate. So on a throat plate, normally the hole where the needle goes in and out is wide. So you can do decorative stitches, you can do zigzag, any width that you want. Well, we all know that that width can often have fabric kind of dive in when you start, or it feels like the needle is kind of pushing or dimpling the fabric in, especially this type of fabric. So if you have a throat plate with one little tiny hole, when that needle comes down, it is easily pushed through the fabric because the fabric is supported. It's not way open and wide. So a straight stitch throat plate can be ideal. And these days, your sewing machines, you can even tell them or they will sense your straight stitch throat plate on and immediately make sure you're only sewing a straight stitch. That will prevent the needle from breaking. If you don't have that option, you just gotta remember, straight stitch throat plate on, no zigzagging, no decorative stitches. Leave yourself a sticky note when you're done or or take the plate off immediately and replace it with your normal plate. So next time you sit down to sew and you go finding a wide side to side stitch, you don't break your needle. Common thing to happen. And or if you're working with that twin needle, again, make sure that you're using your standard throat plate. So I hope these have been helpful. Spoon Flower is a great company if you want to print anything of your own drawing on lots of different fabrics. So Sport Lycra was one of my options. I could have picked from linen, I could have picked from minky, I could have picked from all different types of cottons. Plus there's designers that have all these different prints. It's like picking your own fabric and then printing it on your own. And those designers do get credit for your purchase. So check it out. There was an amazing amount of different things that I could print, print on, and like there were tea towels and cocktail napkins and all sorts of things, uh, duvet covers. So check it out. It's a great great website. It's been around for a long time. I've just been wanting a reason to actually do something and experience it for myself. Never thought Lycra would have been my first option to sew on that I had printed and how easy it was to actually upload my logo and hit print. And a couple weeks later, my fabric arrived at my front door. So I hope these tips have been helpful. Remember, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all the links below. I've also been wearing one of my shirts from our newly released How to Embroider on a T-shirt. And the quilts behind me are from our Stitching Cosmos quilt classes plus our Embroidery Essentials classes. So make sure you check out all of our online courses plus over 4,000 sewing related educational videos that can help you master your machine, your serger, and your cover stitch machine.